what happens, it brings this really deep sense of peace. Because when you come in touch with this and you connect, this anxiety, this nervousness, this fire, this tingling, this weirdness in the world that you're left out, you're on your own, and nothing can really protect you because, yeah, you put your blanket around, you know, you have your job, you have your finances, you got your savings, your second home and third home, and maybe you gather your kids around you, your friends around you, your family, your dog, your cat, you know, you get more cats and more dogs, and you get all these things, you try to hang on to these things, so you, f you feel secure, but the things, it's just give you partial security, but then all of a sudden, another news come about coronavirus or a new one, a new version of it, that this one is definitely going to kill half of the population and everything is down the tube. Everything that you set up around yourself to make you calm and quiet is gone. Now you're back into this turmoil. So the turmoil, the inner turmoil, is what is ripping you into pieces. Or whatever that is. And then as we're getting older, it gets worse. Because most of us are going to find ourselves being alone. You're getting older. People are leaving. The world is changing. You feel left out. You feel lost. The new generation, the computer revolution, it's a new language has come and you don't even understand this new language. And so now you feel more left out. You can't find any securities in it because it's just simply not there. No matter how hard you're going to be struggling, hanging on to it, it's not there. And then betrayal starts to happen. You get betrayed. Betrayal after betrayal after betrayal. Everything starts failing you. Your body starts failing you. You're hanging in there really hard. You're a tough cookie. But everything starts to fall apart. No matter how hard you're trying. Everything, there is something new. Everything, every day. One day is all of a sudden your eyes, they're not seeing very well. Okay, you're going to start fixing those. The next thing is something weird starts happening on your face and it's twitching. It's twitching. So you fix those things. Then something else starts to happen. Every day there is something. But then you start connecting to this place. And all of a sudden, all of these worries, all these problems, all these things that are troubling you, they disappear. They're not there. Because you start to access your fifth dimensional self. You're accessing this other part of yourself, which is wisdom. It's quiet. It's the master. It's unattached.
and you may find it in someone okay and you want to be like that but if you're lucky then it, their spark will forces you to recognize it inside yourself that it's here and if you are determined you're not fooling around it does take determination you just have to get focused on it and dive into it deeper and then it starts getting activated it starts to it's a revolution because the more you focus on it your attention starts to go on it so your attention from all these external blah 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 that all the way up to now again this is not your fault because you had no education no one ever told you anything about it you had to figure this out on your own it's like you're having a child and the child doesn't come with a manual there's no manual you're just mom your sister your friends are telling you what to do but you don't know what the hell to do how do i raise a child how do I react to them when they piss me off? I told my six-year-old 50 times, don't close that door like that. And he still does it. Now I just get angry and yell at him or I have to slap his wrist or whatever. How do I deal with it? You don't know how to deal with it because they don't give you a manual what to do. It's not like you went and bought a new Toyota and it came with its manual of how to deal with it. You have no idea how to deal with it. So it's very confusing. Same thing here. You don't know what to do, but you know you need to do something. And something from inside is pulling you in that direction. So, Entering into the fifth dimensional realm, again, what is it? It is a realm of oneness. It's one, and there is no second one. There's nothing else in there. It's just one. But in verbal explanation, when I say you enter into this universal or to this unified field of love without the illusion of duality. Nice fancy words. But most people don't understand what the hell Zarathustra you're talking about. What the hell? What is fifth dimension? A unified field of love without the illusion of duality. The illusion of duality. What is the illusion of duality? This world. An illusory world, a dream world, that seems separated. Everything is separated from everything. It's a dream world. But in its essence, there is no separation. It's happening by one dreamer that's dreaming it. And the same thing, entering into this realm of fifth dimensional consciousness, what happens to you in layman man, layman's man language?